Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Michelle. And we're here from America by Cycle, teamed up with Pond5.com out here in California's Redwoods at their mobile office. We're two filmmakers currently cycling down the Pacific Coast, documenting the people and places we meet along our travels. If you're like us and you enjoy making a few extra bucks while on the road, then what better way to do it than by shooting and uploading stock footage to Pond5. So pull up a chair, turn down those lights, and get ready to learn how to shoot and upload stock footage while you're on the road. Step one, get a camera. Shooting video is really hard without a camera, so it's best if you get one to point in the general direction of your subject. Just make sure it's a camera that shoots high quality footage. Flip cameras, most smartphones, and webcams do not qualify as high quality footage. Having a camera that can withstand the rigors of travel will go a long way in assuring you a successful shoot. Your top priority should be a camera that is lightweight, portable, easily accessible, and high quality. Step two, get a tripod or dolly rig. Having shaky footage can be the difference between having a decent clip and having a great clip. Sure, there are plenty of moments that can be documented handheld, but more often than not, you'll wanna have a solid base for your shooting. Dolly shots are beautiful and a big seller, and pans and tilts always work out better when you're on sticks. Step three, go somewhere interesting. Bike, drive, hike, swim, climb, skydive, or run to your location. While traveling, look for unique subjects to film and avoid shooting something we already have 1,000 plus clips of. Look at the mainstream media to identify trends. Think about how your footage would be used. Footage of wind turbines is beneficial for energy companies. And a business guy celebrating on the beach, well, is beneficial for just about everything. Step four, shoot. Set your frame, check your lighting, and hit record. Try not to shoot outdoors in the middle of the day to avoid harsh shadows. If your travels go through a beautiful location, get up at dawn or wait until golden hour for your best light. Get creative with your shooting, and don't be afraid to improvise with whatever equipment you've got to get your shot. It's my walking stick slash GoPro filming apparatus. If you've got something like a GoPro or Contour, experiment with different angles and go where other cameras can't. Make sure to fill your frame with the best possible composition. Be patient, find a scene, and wait for the action. Now these rules don't really apply if you're shooting something like a riot, a hurricane, or a flaming building. So for editorial content, just be sure to follow the action and try not to get in the way. Step five, edit and transfer your footage. Dump the files onto your computer and review them. Using an editing program, trim down, color correct, and drop the audio from your clips if it's necessary. Go to Pond5's video requirements page to make sure that your clips meet the guidelines for quality, duration and file size, format, and codec. Step six, upload your footage. Unless you have a killer USB modem or a fancy five-star hotel's internet connection, doing this while on the road can be a challenging task. Look for internet cafes, public libraries, universities, or even a wireless human hotspot if you can find one. And remember, you can always mail in your hard drive to Pond5 headquarters if you can't get to the internet. Go to pond5.com and create a free account if you don't already have one. Upload your clips and add your metadata. This is the most important part of your footage being searchable. Keywords, a description, camera information, and your location all play a part in making sure your footage can be found on pond5.com, keywords being the most important. Set your price or ask the curator to set your price for you click Submit, and wait for your clips to be approved. Waiting times vary. Step seven, celebrate. Your clips are online. Yes! Now that the hard part's over, the only thing left for you to do is sit back and let the moolah start rolling in, hopefully. Be patient and give your clips a little time to start generating some traffic. If you haven't sold anything yet, don't worry. You can always upload more on your next trip out in the field. Now grab a camera and go shoot. If you want to learn more about how to shoot and upload stock to Pond5, go to help.pond5.com. If you want to check out our bicycle travels, go to americabicycle.com. Bicycle.